Hi, I got a request on my uh, YouTube channel to show how you add more lines in NoteFlight. Now, NoteFlight used to have this really, um, really interesting and sometimes frustrating option where you could click on the plus sign just underneath the, the line and it would add in another part. Uh, but that was a little finicky. So let me show you the way that you currently do it in NoteFlight. Come up here to the very top and you wanna choose parts. It's the one with the guitar. You'll notice that now here I have a viola part. And that's because this, I'm an orchestra teacher. I arranged this for my viola players. So, but let's say I wanna add a part. Maybe I wanna add a violin part. So I click on add a part. And now I have all of these instruments to choose from. If I know the one I'm looking for, I can just type it in. Choose violin. I like the, I'm probably gonna add more violin parts, so I'm gonna name this violin one, because I also would like a violin two part, but I don't like the abbreviation that Note Flight suggests for violin. I grew up knowing it as VLN, so I always change my abbreviations to be that. You can change the key. If you leave it, it will just adapt to the key signature of the piece that you're adding the part to. So click OK, and now you'll notice you have a violin part. Now, if you're used to reading things in score order, this might be a little frustrating for you. So come over here and see this big gray dotted box next to viola. If you click on it, an arrow appears under the violin one. You can click and drag that viola part down, and now it's underneath the violin part. When you're ready to be done with this, you can just click out of this box, and then you can continue editing and adding things in yourself. Hopefully that helps and answered your question.